Hello, teacher, and hello, everybody. So I'm so happy to present to you about chapter eight. We're talking about no full security, no world order. So let's move it. So it is my content. Is uh, we have an introduction. Uh, second, food security and international security. Third, CSIS report. And fourth, uh, my reflection. So uh, the first one we're talking about the food security and international security. So we maintain the four main compact that uh, it's, it, it has then and, and we also could maintain the four scenario that uh, that that facts with T that in the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. So food affordability is the first one we're talking. Uh, it's mean about the food price relative to other goods and services. Food cost relative to income level of GDP. Accessibility to food safety net program, agricultural and poor traffic. Second, food avail available uh, Availability, uh, sub subsequent food supply dependent on food aid, crop of food, historic facility, agriculture, road and port infrastructures. Agricultural production, vulnerability, food loss and wastage. Third, food quality and safety, which means about a neutral, neutral, uh, Neutral general standard and guideline, dietary avail availability of nutrient and vitamins, food safety, respect to agency oversee, accessibility to clean water, and fourth, national resources and resilient and exposure to troop, food, storm, and other weather condition, policy and management. Agriculture, water risk, so arousing and reducing in our land food and pot and dependency. So, and this is my maintain about four scenarios that we're talking on this food security and uh, international security that it is playing and it it's coming and in it fast and then we prove it, we see it and also we uh, we need to focus on this of food security and international security according to pandemic crisis. So according to CSIR report that uh, I have been researching on this, and also I watched the video that the programming that they host, it, it's talking about the change in natural of food security challenge. Today, uh, GSSP focus on several key issue in policy to enhance the food security in the United States globally. So the reason of this program that uh, it committed to rent regulating US leadership on food security using the last data of the FAN, the nature of today's challenge and proposed policy solution that minimize the impact of U.S. investment at home and abroad. So this is our, the, the chart is that the number of increasingly of the people that face the food insecurity. So in early 2020, until late 2020, the, the people around 135 million around the world that already facing extremely hunger according to World Food Program. And also that by the end of these years, I mean the 2022, the remark delivers to the UN Security Council on April 21 is uh, increasingly more to emerge economic streaming from COVID-19 pandemic that could well give a rise to the global food crisis. Many of the most vulnerable part of the world are concurrently struggling with other threats of food insecurity. Protect conflict recurrent through the worst located in infection indicates. 
So at this point, the global food price is are still stable, and the food price also still index calculated by the UN Food and Agricultural Organization. That show that despite the 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 penny binding among the consumer in many country, the global price are likely uh the main conception on the result of COVID nineteen lockdown on and quarantine. So let's move to the next slide. It's talking about a country that with a food price increasingly from uh, January to March twenty twenty. So. The several impact that greater than the quad around the 15 country, which mean the 10 person, and also high impact on 10 country and aggressively to five to 10 percent. And also uh, 26 country, moderate impact to zero up to five percent, which mean that the, the local price shock maybe percent even in action of global price increase. For example, the World Food Program, the some 15 country uh, saw the cost of basic bucket of the food increase of around more than 10%. So according to New York Times, uh, you, the slide roll of the 15 percent of uh, accounted among 98% of the process uh, that have been shut down the one plant even a few weeks that could be close to airport house. And also the, the US agricultural system is facing a several level challenge according to American from Belarus. Among the farmer and rancher because biggest COVID-19 related concern is the availability of farm labels in much it could be the sources program that temporarily suspend the response to COVID-19 pandemic. So yeah, then let's move to the next slide. Yeah, and last but not least is uh, my reflection according to the world system and also food security system for the world orders. We may have one question of what would it take to achieve resilient resilient food system. So according to my reflection on my research, uh, I can say my samurai on this book, I maintain a seven main point that is, which means that the certain priority is to stabilize food system. Second, ensure that our global food supply is safe. Third, wildlife habitat are in certain, uh, certain and affect by land use change and disforestation. Fourth, social protection program should be linked to promoting the consuming and production of the neutral food. Five, researcher and development practitioner must recognize that higher up people, people, animal, and our sharing environment are tightly interconnected. Six, the WHO should lead this effort but it needs to support from the member state. And last seven, financial banking, banking is uh, crucial. If we are into that anger, does not become the prevailing, prevailing pandemic. So this is my, uh, my presentation come to the end. Thank you for your listening and thank you for your pay attention. Thank you.